An entire crew of expert home builders won't be found at this construction site, but what you will find is a group of people with a whole lot of heart, a little bit of muscle, and a desire to learn. I didn't even know how to use a hammer. So. And now? I'm, usually I get like one out of every three nails in, right? <laughs> we teach you, we have experienced volunteer crew leaders who help teach uh, the folks how to do things if they've not done it before. After grabbing some nails and tools, I find my crew leader and start my first task. Oh, a double one there. Habitat for Humanity was founded in Georgia and has been around since the mid-70s, but not always in Billings. And they said, come down and spend some time. So I went down and spent 16 weeks helping down there so I'd know all about it. So I could come back and convince Billings that we needed one. It took Ping about a decade of persuading, but in 1992, Habitat for Humanity was born in Billings. And not even 20 years later, more than 50 homes have been built in the area. Seeking to eliminate poverty, housing, and homelessness from the world, the international nonprofit is doing just that. We're in over 100 countries, and we have built over 350,000 houses worldwide. The house is the habitat part of the mission, but the other half is for humanity, the part that keeps Zigweed coming back. You know their stories, and then you get to see them get their own house, and after they've worked so hard for it, it's really rewarding. When you walk away today, you're going to see the siding that you nailed up, that you helped on Amanda's house, and what a great feeling to do something for somebody else, and then you also see the results of it right away. That was better actually do something about it, not just give money, but it's the easier thing for people to do. By the way, after a day of pounding nails, you also might see some results in your physique. Is it a workout? Definitely. <laughs> Sweat all the time. <laughs> Building up some arm Get muscle some from good, the hammer. Yep, yep. I, I know that, that people that are helping other people are happier than people that don't, and I think most people want to be happy. Sound advice from a 98-year-old woman who's still making a difference in her community. So if an adventure like rock climbing or kayaking isn't for you, maybe hammering a nail into the side of a house is. In Billings, with photographer Jesse Kester, I'm Angela Douglas for Montana's News Station.